Today's tutorial comes courtesy of Levy Human Hair. They sent over some really nice bundles in this really nice bag that obviously sports their logo on it. Great bag to keep and save so that you can always have something to store your wigs in. So the hair that I chose is actually their Peruvian Body Wave, Superior Grade Peruvian Body Wave. Um, I have in an 18, 20, 22, and then a 16 inch 360 lace frontal. What's cool about this tutorial is I show you how to custom fit your 360 lace frontal. Literally, this is the tightest wig that I've ever made. Like my and I was able to achieve that with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut to the tutorial. And then I'm gonna style this wig and show you how it came out at the end. So today's video is brought to you by Lavi Hair. All of their information is linked down below. They sent over this gorgeous bag full of hair. And we're gonna be making a wig. So inside the bag were these three bundles. This is an 18 inch bundle, a 20 inch bundle, and a 22. And then they also sent over a really pretty 360 lace frontal. I requested a 16 inch and then I've also already went ahead and bleached the knots in the inside. And this is what she looks like. It does have adjustable straps in the back. Um, what I've learned is that the standard size of 360 lace frontals are too big for my head. So I am going to go ahead and measure her on my head and cut off a little bit and then I'm going to sew her back together. So I'll be right back after that is done. So this is how much I cut off. Basically I cut along the adjustable straps and I basically cut off one, two, three of the sections of adjustments. And this is what I have left. It fits my head exactly perfect. So now I'm going to sew it back together so that we can get started on the wig. So this is the dome cap I'm going to be using. I only use mesh dome caps. I find that when I use the spandex ones, it just never fits my head right. So aside from your cap, your black head, and your hair, you're also going to need some T-pins. I usually keep them right here. I have four right here, and this should be enough for me. This is the hot glue gun method, so I'm going to be using a hot glue gun. Mine is all beat up, but she is old faithful. And these are the needles that I use. These are the Jumbo C, and the reason I use the bigger ones is because I have long nails, so it's easier to um, weave my needle and thread. Basically, it's easier to sew when I use the bigger ones when I have longer nails, but if when I don't have any nails, I use the regular small size. And then this is the thread I'm using today. This is nylon thread. I like it because it tangles a little bit less than regular thread and it just works a little bit better, but it is pretty pricey. It's like double the price of regular thread. So just use whatever you have. And then obviously you're gonna need some clips handy just in case you need to pin up some hair, pull it out the way, and then your scissors to cut your wefts along the way as well as your needle and thread. Oh, and you can't forget, you're gonna need plenty of glue sticks it's almost time for me to order a new pack, but these are the ones that I use. I get them from Amazon, and everything will be listed down below. So as you guys did see, I did go ahead and custom resize my frontal, my 360 lace frontal to fit my head. I took off, I would say, about an inch, because if I wouldn't have, it would have been bulky in the back whenever um, the wig was done. So I'm going to go ahead and flip her back right side in. And place her on the mannequin and hopefully she will fit perfectly because my mannequin is the exact size of my head so there's no reason it shouldn't fit it actually fits perfect so I'm gonna go ahead and pin it down to secure it so that it does not um, move so in a nutshell this is what we have so I'm just gonna start sewing all the way around and so we're done
I went ahead and stitched the front slip down to the cap all the way around. All of the excess lace, for the most part, I cut off. I did not want to get too close to the actual stitching because, of course, you don't want to cut into the stitching and mess it up. But this is the result of that. And I kind of went through the lace before or off camera and made sure that there was no lumps in it because I still have a tough time and I'm still new to these 360 lace frontals so I'm not quite sure how to perfect it yet but we're gonna work with what we got so I'm gonna go ahead and take the 22 and get to gluing
So here I'm showing you the inside of the wig. All I did was I cut out all of the excess mesh dome cap because you don't need that. And now I have straight wig. And this is pretty much my final result for this wig. I really love the way I made this wig. This is the first time I've ever made a 360 front so and I loved it and I'm so happy I was able to catch it on camera. So I did use all of the bundles. Um, this is pretty much what I have left and I believe this is a piece of the shortest length which was the 18 inch. This hair was true to size and I didn't have any problem at all with the bundles. Um, my only thing is I kind of wish I would have went um, a little bit um, less full or basically I wish I would have used less tracks in between the frontal. I kind of, I won't say I squeezed them in there but I did not leave a whole lot of space in between each um, track but just kind of space it out just a little bit more it'll be easier to work with so that was just the one thing i learned from this tutorial or um, making this wig i did pull out a little bit of baby hair not too much but you guys are always asking for updates on hair i will be doing an update on this hair because i love it so much um in this one like i said i didn't really style it i just wanted to make this a tutorial for you guys to learn from I didn't want to make it too much information so check back next week don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss the video um, I will be showing you actually how I style the hair and you'll be able to see it down and up and all through the lace and all of that more in detail I just wanted to give you guys the tutorial first so that when I come back and give you a review on the hair itself, you kind of know what's going on and how the wig was made, not have any questions. Also, they gave me a coupon code for you guys. It's AshleyBDeck10. You can enter that at checkout and you'll get money off. All of that information is listed down below. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Nice. Oh.